So my name is Vid, I'm a civil engineering major at Arizona State University and I did the Fulbright ETA experience in Thailand. Deep down in my heart, I always wanted to go visit Thailand at some point in life, but a lot of my friends did the ETA through South Korea and I didn't know which one I wanted to choose. So uh, Dr. Mox actually came, came up with me with the advice and he was like, just follow your heart and your heart's going to show in the paper and that's what's going to make you win. So that was kind of why I chose Thailand. Some of the skills I learned are not necessarily a hard skill, say like mathematics or, or um, subjects you might recognize in uh, uni universities, more soft skills. Um, I think the biggest thing is humility and gratitude and fulfillment. What does that really mean? Uh, living in a Buddhist nation has just transformed the way I think about the world, uh, especially when I look at mundane tasks, for example, just like walking my way to school, and people there are just so grateful for every little thing they have compared to the, the more Western go-go-go lifestyle that we generally have. And so that sense of finding fulfillment and simplicity really kind of heightened my experience and I try to bring that along wherever I go next and it's just made my life just happier in general. Applicants that don't have teaching experience, don't worry about it. It play to your strengths in, in that situation. So I had no teaching experience. I was an engineer. I never taught, uh, mentored, been a coach for anything before. But I did have leadership skills. And that's really what you need as a teacher. The ability and the presence to uh, not command, but just be a guiding kind of North Star for the students. And throughout the year, you realize how much your leadership skills improve through that process. And so I actually had a summer to travel. Uh, so about a month and a half to travel and it was an amazing experience. And part of that travel is when I went to go to Taiwan and visit another Fulbrighter named Maddie. And so that was really, really cool because I got to go visit her school and her visit and see how she teaches and also just compare Fulbright experiences. And it's awesome to see kind of the transferable skills we both learned in that program, uh, as well as how things are different depending on each country. Lanza helped me achieve this goal because of first, I'm an engineer, so my writing skills aren't the best. So they really helped me with the editing of my essays and how to form the way I want to position myself. But also, honestly, just telling me to go for it and follow my heart. I think that was the biggest key piece of advice I received. Um, I didn't know if it was going to be South Korea or Thailand. And then when Dr. Mo said, just follow your heart. Like that was something that just resonated with me and I just spilled my heart on that piece of paper sharing exactly why I wanted to go to Thailand and what I could add value to uh, coming to that program and, and it's been great. It's a year for you to reflect on those amazing four years you had in college uh, and, and on a way to test if teaching is something for you. And teaching isn't just necessarily being a professor or being a high school teacher, but honestly facilitating, working with others, working with people with different backgrounds. It really helps you become more of a competitive applicant in the future for jobs, but also you just have a new sense of the way you look on life and, and kind of what you take away from it. So I definitely recommend the experience.